right, so it's 3.58 on, sat what is it, Saturday? February 17th, I think, not sure. And I look terrible in this lighting, but whatever. <coughs> yeah, but I forgot to make a video today. Um, I'm back at my house sort of cleaning. Um, yeah, I haven't really done much. I cleaned a, a bit in the kitchen. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I just do not have the energy to do anything today. Um, this lighting is terrible. I mean, I know I don't have any makeup on, but still. Um, I, took, I drank some of that Neuro water, the sleep, some, like, the, the orange sleep one. And, like, I drank some of it, and I'm, like, waiting for it to kick in. I'm, like, it's, like, midnight. I'm not sleepy. Drink some more of it. One in the morning, still not sleepy. I drank about a fourth of the Neuro water, and it's, like, I fell asleep around two in the morning. It's like, it takes forever for it to start working, but when it does, like, it doesn't quit working, because it's, it's got melatonin and, I think, something tryptophan in it, and it's like, that's why I don't like taking melatonin. I mean, it does help, and it does eventually get me to go to sleep, but the amount I have to take to knock me out is ridiculous, and then it, like, how do you get melatonin to stop working when you wake up? Because I woke up around 11.40, and I was still groggy, like, I'm, it's like, Almost four, and I'm still a little groggy. I'm not groggy, but I'm like, I don't have energy to do anything. So, like, what, what do I do about that? Yeah. See, I mean, I would like a sleep medication that helps me fall asleep. Actually, that doesn't help me fall asleep. I want something to make me sleepy. Like, I'm not sleep because I think I've got delayed sleep face syndrome, but I can't say I have that because I don't have the diagnosis. I'm not a doctor. I can't self-diagnose. But, like... I just want something to make me go to sleep, and then not, and then quit working when I wake up. That that would be awesome. I have not found that yet, so whatever. Okay, so yeah, yesterday, um, I went and, like this lens fell out because like it's just they're, they're rimless, so it's just like fishing line. So that broke. We had to take them to Lens Crafters, and then we ate at the mall. And I wanted to show. Um, the machine, getting the proactive kit, and then, like, doing this little machine thing. And I thought I hit the record button again, and apparently I didn't, so, complete fail! I walked all the way over from where we were sitting, eating dinner, with my camera, my cell phone, whatever, same thing, to film it, and then I hit the wrong button. Awesome. Yeah. And I won't be doing, like, I might do that again later in the year if I, when that kit finally runs out. But I'll probably forget then, too, or whatever. But, yeah, so, I meant to film it, and wrong button. Totally awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, what else? I'm trying to try to keep this video fairly short because I'm still way behind on um, putting my videos together. I haven't done that yet. Um... I keep meaning to, but the only time I have to put them together is at night, and then I'm like, I'm trying to do other things, I'm working on genealogy and certain things that pertain to that, so then by the time I'm like, I can tear myself away from that, and then I'm actually sleepy, and I fall asleep, so, I haven't forgotten, I think I'm on what the, I'm on what, January 5th, 16th, 17th, I don't know, but yeah, I haven't forgotten, you're just like, yeah, so, this video is explaining why one day, I don't know when, in the future, I'm going to upload a crap ton of videos. And it's the only problem with, it, with like doing videos like this is like I don't want to up upload one video before the other. So I'm like, I'm trying to explain to you these things that right now I'm going to do in the future, but once you watch this, it'll have already happened. So, yeah, I think I mentioned this in another video, but whatever. Okay, so, genealogy. I'm going to sit back down. Like my... So, what I'm trying to do with my genealogy right now is two things. I'm trying to figure out um, who the parents of one of my German immigrant ancestors was. This person um, was... Okay, so, I guess back then you had to, at some point, file a declaration of intent, which means you wanted to become a citizen, and then, like, five years later you could... Um, become naturalized or something. I'm not sure exactly. I don't have my computer here, and I can't look it up while I'm filming. Recording, whatever. Um, so, okay, so this ancestor, um, was, filed his declaration of intent in South Carolina in 1852. And he was from, from Baden-Baden in Germany. I know I'm going to be butchering that pronunciation, but whatever. Um, so, 
and he was 27 years old, so he was born, say, about 1825, 1823, so I'm bad at math. So, he was born sometime around, like, 1825, depending on the month he was born, which I don't know. So, I've been trying to figure out who his parents were, looking through old German records and, like, ship manifest records and things like that. And, you know, new, most people think of immigrant ancestors. I think my nose is getting, like, stuffed up and it's annoying. But anyhow, so most people think, no, seriously, I don't know what it is. Like, the more I talk, it's like my nose gets stuffed up, but there's nothing there. I, I, I don't know what the deal with that is. But anyhow, back on topic. So, you must have think of, like, Ellis Island, but he came here in 1852. Ellis Island wasn't around back then. So, I'm like, okay, what was before Ellis Island? Well, there was Castle Garden, but that was also up north. Um, so, yeah, like, every time I try to look up, like, my immigrant ancestors, it's always Ellis Island this and Ellis Island that, and, or Castle Garden sometimes. Well, what about those of us whose ancestors came here before either one of those were a thing, or who came through other ports? I feel like... My ancestor probably came through Charleston. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I don't know what ports there were in South Carolina in the 1850s. I have no idea. I don't know how to look that up because everything is Ellis Island and Castle Garden. So, I mean, I think Char like Charleston, South Carolina is my best guess because the um, county he was... he filed his declaration of intent in is in, like, the middle of South Carolina and nowhere near the coast, so he had apparently been there. I mean, unless he, you know, got on the train or borrowed a horse immediately after getting off the ship and hauled it to this county, he had probably been there since, like, you know, a little before 1852. So I don't know when he actually got to the got to America. I don't know how to look that up, which is awesome. And, of course, I don't speak German, so I don't know how to look up records there. Um, I did find a website for Baden-Württemberg... Totally butchering this, but Baden-Württemberg, I, I, that is not how you say that in the slightest. But there's, like, an immigrant, like, an immigrant with an I, an immigrant with an E, like, website you can kind of look up, and they, and like, you can do Google Translate, or they have an English one, I don't know. But I tried looking him up on the actual German website, and not there in the slightest. No, no trace of him. Um, I've looked on various ships, um, manifest records on, like, websites that have those lists on them. No, nope, not there either. So I have no clue who his parents were or anything other than he was born roughly 1825 and he lived in Baden-Baden, Germany. So I'm like, I'm still looking. But I got nothing. Um, and I have tried the DNA thing, and on, I think, Ancestry, I found some cousins, but the cousins I have from him, um, they descend from another one of his children than I do, so they can't go any, sorry, they cannot go back any further than him either, so we're both, both our sides are stuck with, like, we don't know anything. Um... And the German naming patterns, I've tried using that, but the names they used for their children, eh, I'm not really sure. And they don't really help. From, like, the first daughter was a Catherine. Do you know how many Catherines there were in Germany back in the day? That doesn't help me in the slightest if I don't know his mother's name, or last name, or whatever. So, and they didn't, as far as I can tell, they didn't do census records back then in Germany. So, I don't have those to work with either, so, I am just stuck with that. So, I'm, I'm trying to find something, but it is not going too well. And the second thing I'm doing is... Okay, so, since it's February and it's Black History Month, um, I thought, you know, well, I don't have, like, I mean, what am I going to do? Like, everything, like... We had that in school, you know, we learned about different people throughout history, and, um, and I can't really contribute anything to Black History Month, I mean, I mean, look at me, like, like what am I going to say that's going to be helpful, or, you know, whatever. But, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyhow, so, I actually do have some African DNA, um, so, you know, I thought, you know, maybe I'll try. Okay, this love and it just cuts out because it ran out of memory. 
Um, anyhow, so I do have some African DNA, and so does my mom, and my sister, my half-sister on my dad's side, I don't know, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, actually, hold on. Okay, so I had to go back and check Ancestry, which is my half-sister's on, from my, my paternal half-sister. Um, she doesn't have any kind of African DNA showing up on her Ancestry results, and on there I have, like, a tiny bit of Senegal, Senegalese, which I don't have, any, I do have African there, too. But, as you know, or some of you may know, um, Ancestry does not have a chromosome browser, so I have no idea what chromosome or what side of the family that Sen Senegal DNA came from, so that didn't help me in the slightest. And, you know, with, um, half-siblings, you don't, like, just because she doesn't have African DNA doesn't mean, like, showing up on there doesn't mean she, our father didn't have any, um, yeah, I hope, so, blah, 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 ancestry DNA does not help, so, there you go. Um, I'm getting kind of, my mind is trying to wander off, and it's not helping. Okay, so anyhow, back to my mom and 23andMe and the African DNA, because, this is where it actually helped. On 23andMe, you can see where the DNA is on each chromosome and where it came from. And this case, okay, so I have some like various points of African DNA. Um, 23andMe isn't very. Um, they don't break it down very much. Like with Ancestry, they don't tell you like if it's like Singalese, Ethiopian, Nigerian, whatever, Ghana, whatever. 23andMe, it's either North African, or Sub-Saharan African, or West African. That's it. Or in Middle, in Middle Eastern gets lumped, gets lumped into North African DNA. So, incredibly informative. Yeah. Anyhow, so I, um, so I do have some, like a very teeny tiny amount of West African and North African and broadly North African, um, Middle Eastern. My mom has a little bit of West African, too. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to see this. I think, hey, maybe I got my West African DNA from my mom. So I compare our um, chromosome paintings, or whatever you call them, uh, chromosome browsers on 23andMe, and her um, West African DNA is on different chromosomes than mine is. So So apparently, I get mine from my father. Okay, because that happens. Just because you have DNA from somewhere does not mean you will pass it on. So apparently, whatever African ancestor my my mom and I have, I did not get a scrap of their DNA. At least, not that 23andMe has found. Or has cal calculated, whatever. So I'm like, okay, so this DNA came from my father's side. I can focus on that part of the tree. And also, um... Some of my West African DNA is on my X chromosome that obviously came from my father, so that helps you. I don't know if the DNA, if like all the West African DNA came from one ancestor and just spread out, or, or if it's from different ancestors. I, I don't know. But anyhow, I do have some on my, I guess, paternal X chromosome. And given that you only inherit... Like, the X chromosome has a certain level of inheritance, which will help me go through the family tree and figure out where it came from. And I will try to make a video on that later to better explain it. So, uh, this video is long enough. I'm just going to leave it here because like, my attention span is starting to wander off and my voice is going and I, my attention span is just barely holding on. So, I will see you all tomorrow or... Or you'll s why do I keep doing that? I'm not going to see a one of you unless y'all start making videos. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to see who my subscribers are because I keep deleting my emails out of force of habit, but whatever. Okay, bye.